The ITV2 dating show has come under fire recently from members of the public and celebrities including Holly Hagen for failing to cast any curvy women in their lineup of stars. And instead only picking women with slim and muscular physiques. Fern McCann has spoken out in defense of Love Island amid body diversity backlash. But now mum of one Fern has spoken out in defense of the show's casting decision, claiming that when she was younger she was also skinny. Speaking to Metro.co.uk, Fern reasoned, There aren't any curvy girls or dad bods in there, but I've kind of looked at these girls. They're all very young. And when I was 21, I was that skinny, with no cellulite. The former The Only Way is as star's defense comes after fans even called for her ex-co-star Gemma Collins to be sent into the villa to represent curvy women. The debate was kicked off by Hey or Shaw star Holly Hagen who tweeted, I wonder if there will ever be anyone remotely curvy in at Love Island. Writing on Facebook, one viewer agreed saying, was literally thinking this. They need to send Gem Collins in. Another person added a lengthy post stating, I agree with Holly they never put anyone who her curves or a bit of meat on them it has to be thin people which is unfair. I wonder how many curvy women applied and didn't get through probably because they're not slim etc. Sick, former Love Island star Jessica Shears also agreed with Holly writing, I literally said the exact same. How am I the curviest girl to go on so far? So many amazing girls out there with way more curves than me. Nevertheless, some viewers were quick to point out some past contenders who they deemed to be curvy from past series. Love Island alumni Jessica Shears, Olivia Buckland and Tyne Lexi Clarson were all name-checked for their curvy figures. Love Island continues on ITV two weeknights at 9pm.